Alright, so before I take apart prototype 1, I should probably explain to y'all why this did not work. Now, something that is pretty obvious to most of y'all, but not obvious to me, I guess, is that having a rudder on a perimeter does not work, because I'm effectively twisting the airplane to try and get the parachute to turn. But when I twist the, the, um, the airframe like this and expect it to lean, it actually does not lean that much, and mostly twist, which makes the parachute fold in. So I don't know if y'all are familiar with adverse yaw, but that is basically what's happening here. So anytime I use a yaw input to turn left, I'm getting a roll input pretty much to turn right from the parachute, just because of the angle. I'm not sure how to explain this any better, but I will link a video explaining what adverse yaw is. So this is the reason that paramotors don't actually have rudders. They pull on the strings and bend the parachute like that. And that's what I'm going to try and do with my next prototype. So uh, let's get straight into it. All right, so here's the new paramotor, which I'm hanging from my mirror just so I can explain this. So we have our two main lines attached here, and then our lines at the very end of the parachute are on these little thingies, so that this servo on this arm can actually pull the lines back and forth. I figured out that I could do it with one, but I'm not sure how well this will work, and it's very experimental. And I also added landing gear uh, just to add a little bit more weight and uh, using the same parachute, same, same everything with all that, just instead of having a rudder now, we are going to be pulling the lines like a real paramotor. So let's fly this thing and see how well this actually turns out. Oh, it went. Full right. The wing is collapsing, but it just won't turn right. Full left. It's not turning left. Now it's turning left. Now back right. What?
Well, everybody, that was my paramotor uh, version 2. As you can see, uh, it's sustained a little bit of damage and the landing gear is all broken. But it is a prototype and it is working. It is working about as good as the original. I still need to tune it so the wing doesn't collapse whenever I don't want it to. But other than that, the aircraft is actually flying very well. Like I said, this is my second paramotor. Uh, you can see the first video. I'll have it linked somewhere. So yeah, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and make sure if you found this educational, useful, or entertaining, you liked and subscribed. And uh, if you want to see more, please let me know, and uh, I'm going to keep working on this and try and build a real good one, and then uh, hopefully release plans so y'all can build your own cheap DIY RC paramotors. Thanks everybody for watching, and I uh, hope you enjoyed.